Welcome to Lord Fader's perspective. You opened the box. We came. Laura Fader coming at you from Laura Fader's perspective. Giving you another reaction to a video. Uh, Mr. Andrew here, who's a frequent guest on the Whatever podcast, very popular podcast. He's addressing uh, Miss Daisy Chin, the lady that said that she was pregnant by Mr. Fresh. And Mr. Fresh did not want the child. So I just wanted to give my reaction to this because, man, let me tell you something. The sisterhood is strong, brother. I mean, you, you got some irreconcilable logic going on with some of these females. And I think guys need to understand how the females think, especially females who are nice looking. So without any further ado, let's get it. To, um, the, the blonde gal with a crucifix over on the, the right side of the table from my perspective. What did you say your name was? No, it was Noel. Me, Noel. Noel. Okay. Yeah. Noel. Uh, you're a Christian, correct? Yeah. I was raised Mormon, Her but I'm just Christian. Okay, from your worldview, is abortion murder? Um, I think it is, yeah. Yeah, so by that logic, then is the gal sitting next to you a murderer? I honestly, that's, I don't want to share my opinion on that, because. Okay, we're coming to problem number one. Now, you must understand, Miss Chen rode with Noel. She came there with her. This young lady has decided to take up her cause because apparently she had a relationship also with Mr. Fresh that didn't turn out so well. So she claimed she didn't know a man that claimed to have a thousand body count was just in it for the draws. Let's continue. It really doesn't well, matter to me. Well, if, if abortion is murder. Yeah, baby, don't worry, you can say that, but there is- Is the gal sitting next to you a murderer? And there is a reason why. Right, and we yeah, I just, I just, why. I just would like her answer if you don't mind. If you believe abortion is murder, is the gal sitting next to you a murderer? Now, the obvious answer to this question is yes. Yeah, let's give her the benefit of doubt and see what she does. She murdered a fetus. That's what I think. Okay. But it's, it's and that fetus something... is a fetus uh, equivalent to a baby to you? Yes. Yeah. So Didn't then she murdered that. a baby. Yeah, but that's her okay. decision, and I'm not going to judge her for it. And I'm not going to judge. No, I, I, I understand. I, I usually don't judge people who murder babies either. Well, Mr. Andrew, I judge people who murder babies, man. Uh, I think it's murder. And if it is murder, I think they should be charged with because here's the thing. If I run up on a pregnant woman who's not even showing and I assault said pregnant woman and I punch her in the stomach and she loses the baby. How many homicides do you think I would get charged with? See, that's the problem. Let's continue. I mean, I, I'm not going to really respond to that. Because the sisterhood okay. is strong. Well, anyway, I'll, I'll turn it back over to Brian, but I did want to get that clarified because I don't, uh, I just want to make sure that I get the world views down and that you are assisting right this second a, with a, a person who you believe murders babies i just i just want to make make sure i got that clear bingo well, i think everyone's missing the entire the sisterhood the thing and they, that is strong fresh and they know they he know lied and deceived okay and he's also a massive hypocrite they use all right now we're coming to it every time a female gets pressed about taking some responsibility for anything that they do first thing they do well what about the men what about the men and the last time i checked Females don't have two testicles and a phallus. Last time I checked. Last time I checked, men cannot have children. Last time I checked, that make us different. So why would you equate the actions of a man to the actions of a woman? It don't make no sense. And this is the conundrum that we've gotten ourselves into. Basically, it is however these females feel, that's what's right. Let's continue. It's their platform to urge men to step up as fathers or to be high value men and then they go and do the exact Is it opposite. hypocritical to support murderers when you're against abortion? Is it hypocritical for you to do that as you point out other people's hypocrisy? Well, God tells us to love thy neighbor. So, <laughs> oh, well, so no. Then you should love fresh, right? 
I never said I hated him. I'm just calling no, him well, out for bad behavior. Well, but why? Why it's it's interesting to me that you would assist the woman next to you, uh, who has the same bad behavior that you are accusing Fresh of, as you accuse Fresh of being a hypocrite. Would that not also make you a hypocrite? Bingo. As you call him a murderer. No, it wouldn't. Would you not have to call the person next to you a murderer as no. well? Hang on. Let yes. her answer. Let her answer. I have a neutral stance on this. I don't think Daisy's in the right. I don't think Fresh is in the right. But I have okay. my own side that happened with Fresh, and that's all I care about. Their details, that's their business. She can speak on what she wants to speak on, but I'm not going to speak on her situation. I'll only speak on mine. Yet, yeah. you are supporting her situation, independent of yours. See, that's, that's what I'm talking about. I mean, I don't know how this guy Andrew stays so calm because the B's and the H's will be coming out of my mouth so quick at these uh, so-called females right here, man. It's like everybody in life is given a test. These young females test is greater than mine because they're beautiful. They're gonna have easy access to a lot of things that I could only imagine. They're gonna be treated in a way I could never dream of being treated. So they have a harder test because that's what this is, a test to see what you will do with the situation that you're given. And I just think they're failing miserably. Let's continue. Okay, got it. I just wanted to make sure I had that clear. I have a few more notes here. Uh, I will just to the rest of the panel, I'll open it up to you guys here soon. We just have a lot of notes here with Daisy. So um, yeah, I'm sure at least for Daisy, just to conclude, um, I don't know if I'm old school, but in my book, you never leak anything to do with family, friends, or somebody you're dating. I think that's always private. Even if a relationship or somebody you're dating, maybe it doesn't even end the best. Uh, I don't think you put them on blast publicly. I think that's my primary. Yeah, yeah, but see, you don't understand. These young ladies is nasty work, man. Nasty work. They messy. When they don't get what they want, they go crying, they go on playing victim, because they want everybody to be on their side, and I can't even believe they sitting on this stance, but eh, let's continue. Ripe here, um, and it is dating related, because I mean, should you go public? Should you leak stuff? Um, I do think, Daisy, uh, I do think you have- Hey man, now, isn't it revenge porn if men do the same thing that these women are doing? If you leak stuff about them and their bedroom habits and whatnot, don't we get canceled for that? I mean, what is going on? If you're going to have a double standard, then let's acknowledge everybody. It's just going to be a double standard. And if the double standard favors the woman, that's fine. But when the double standard favors the man, let's get that too. Escalated things here. I've been following this thing. Uh, I'm not saying Fresh is perfect, okay? He's not. But I do think this was an unnecessary escalation. I think, I do think you're in the wrong uh, in multiple ways here. Uh, and in life, people are gonna mess up. Again, I'm not saying Fresh, Walter, what he did was perfect. I don't know all the details. It was not. I don't necessarily think it means you have to go public though. And I think it made the whole situation uh, bad for you, made it bad for them. Uh, and I do, you know, I, again, I don't know all the details of your guys. I don't think she cares. Look at her. I do think she don't care. leaking it. She's right in her leaking head, bro. The private calls, recording it, pre, all premeditated. In my view, I think what you did is worse than okay. what he did. Okay. Then um, she doesn't care. Can I say something? I have one question for you first, though. Can I say something? I'd Will like you buy me something. a $30,000 purse? <laughs> That's my final question to you, Daisy. Would I buy you? Yes. If I, I got to be wine to die. If I love you. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Okay, Manipulation. Well, go ahead, go ahead if I love you. Uh, she don't love nothing is, but herself. If I didn't leak the message, he would have never take any punishment from this situation. And I would be only the only one who gets punished. So. Punished? What do you mean? Like. Punished by making me into the situation that I would be the only one that's suffering from this, the whole process. Like getting pregnant. Be a single mother, without the, without a father, without. Well, you would have opted for the abortion even if you hadn't gone public, right? 
right? Yes. Like you would have, even if you, let's say you didn't go public, yeah. you kept everything private. I mean, you would have still no, gone the no, abortion. I, yes, she would have. I just didn't know my decision. You weren't but sure. But when yet. I called him, I was sure I wanted the baby. When I just find out I'm pregnant, I was really surprised and I was really happy. Yep. However you feel in the moment, that's what's right. That's the problem. You don't have no boundaries. You don't have no rules. Apparently, these two dated, but they dated for a short period of time. And this man told her a lot of stuff that he shouldn't told her. I love you. You my baby. You my girl. Put her up in a nice place. And she thought she had hit easy street. Gotta understand, this man is a multimillionaire, right? And what she was trying to do was scare him with this pregnancy. She was trying to get pregnant. Let me explain something to you. Women, as you have heard so many times on so many platforms, control access to sex, not men. So if you get pregnant, whose fault is it? Because we can't get in there unless you let us in. We can't do anything without your consent. So I don't understand why he need to be punished for doing something you allowed him to do. Not that you allowed him to do it, but you sought out. This man got money and that's what you like. And that's cool. And I want everybody to understand this lady did not come into the world looking like that. She looked like a plastic Barbie doll for a reason. Cause she's had multitudes of surgeries just to look like that. So, okay. Let me tell you one reason why if I'm Mr. Uh, fresh, why I wouldn't want to have a kid with her. Cause I seen the picture of what she looked like before all the surgery. And I know what the kid gonna look like. It ain't gonna look like her. That's trauma right there. But does she think about that? No, it's all me, 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 I, 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 me, 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 me. All right, we'll see what that gets you. Um, yeah, so my, my point is if I die, he die with me. Wait, what? what? Like, the, the it's baby. leaking the message. It's, it's going to make my situa uh. situation bad. Okay, then let it be. Because then he needs to get his punishment anyway. He need to That's get his punishment, but man. Okay, so I'm, I'm still what? a little confused, you know. So he broke up with you. Punished. You're upset, you're upset by that. For getting some bots. Like, I mean, you're not. Um, <laughs> you can say it's fine. I'm not perfect. I never, I never said that. No, but I mean, like, <sighs> you don't. You don't take issue with him breaking up with you, correct? Yes. Like, remember that skit Dave Chappelle had where he pulled out the contract before they got down to business, man. We there. Draw up a contract. Have him sign the consent, the NDA, all that good stuff. Especially if they look like they're worth something because they're only on the come up anyway. I mean, just here recently, Shaquille O'Neal's wife wrote a book ex-wife i'm sorry wrote a book and said she never loved him after three kids and him taking in your kids you had by somebody else and you talking about you didn't love him let me explain something to y'all if brad pitt shaq all these high profile what people consider uh, uh kevin garnett what people consider to be the top of the male species can't keep a chick what chance do we got I mean, it's bad, man. And then you got all these average looking chicks, face caked up with makeup. Fives at best, sixes once they put all that stuff on. Who won't even look at an average man? The society is falling, ladies and gentlemen. And let's keep on looking at the example of why. That's not the, the issue, really. It's not the issue why was... I leak the message. That wouldn't be. I would, I would never leak the message. Okay. Yeah. Well. In any case, um, this is know. crazy. I'm old school. I never. That's okay. I mean, that's okay. A lot of people don't understand why I did that. Like I was. We understand why you did I was it. Like, You're a vindictive. It is what it is. You I know did what? It already, and I'm taking the punishment, and I'm getting harassed. Punishment. I lost. What is baby. it like? But when you there's a punishment. quote or a saying, it goes something like, "If you seek revenge, dig two graves." Yeah. Because I mean, punishment would have been Dayton Diddy. That would have been punishment. <laughs> That's the type of relationship she need. A little bit of that Diddy love. <laughs> and look, you got, re I guess you kind of got revenge on him. Although actually I have a, I have a thought on this. Um, it seems like a lot of negative attention came your way too. I mean, you probably yeah. got nasty messages. 
Uh, which she deserved. You know, probably. I assume it's been super stressful, more stressful than it would have been. Which she caused. It. But I actually think the other thing is. And, it, and hang on. Wait, and wait, wait. Just to cut in. Almost done. Cut in, well, bro. Finish this for me. Revenge is mine, so saith. Honestly, I can't. I'm not. Can I don't you finish that for me? The sisterhood. Every single verse. I'm not. Is strong, saith the Lord. The sisterhood is strong. Oh man. See, and that's what I mean. How can you be a Christian when you blatantly sit before the world and announce that you disobey God? How are you gonna be Christian? Where does she think she's gonna go? A Christian woman. And for the record, this lady was also flown out by fresh, ran through, and dismissed. This is why she's angry. But this is a Christian born Mormon. Understand what I'm talking about? Ain't nothing Christian about these women. Ain't nothing real. Ain't nothing good. There's nothing pure. It was an old song uh, uh, by uh, some prophets named Bill Bill DeVoe. And they said, uh, never trusteth a big butt and a smile. Perfect. So. And James is mine, so saith the Lord. I, I couldn't, right? yeah. I, I, I couldn't, yeah. yeah. But so if your mission Ow. was to get revenge on him, um, now that it's clear, like, perhaps if you had continued with the pregnancy, that would have been a stronger position. But No, that's not. That's well, just, so. That's but, just entertaining people by. You want to get revenge? You do like these sisters. You have that baby and put 18 years of pain on that man. That's what you do. She wasn't even strong enough to do that. This is absolutely crazy. But you actually realize that, that this whole thing was probably the most viral that like they've got so much attention from this that it's actually probably to some degree actually been very beneficial for their business. People have been, you know, f tuning in, continuing to tune in. Like attention when it was going on? Yeah, yeah that's but what like, a whole like thing is. Attention? attention at all? No, not at all. Not at all. What I mean, I look. Everybody else did. At <laughs> least, at least for me, I'll know how they view it. I don't. I actually, me personally, oh even God. if you know, getting negative, like being involved in some drama, gets me more viewers. I actually dislike that. Like, I'd rather not get like uh, like uh, negative attention. And if that means I don't get as many viewers from it, I'm fine because I personally don't like beefs and like drama and stuff me either but so i don't know for them peace. if they feel the same i don't know for them though if they I feel the same way peace. with negative attention some people like negative attention because it comes with there will be people who oh i've never heard of this po this lady just like attention negative positive whatever it is everybody talking about her everybody discussing her case the hubris in it all is that she thinks she can convince everybody to have her worldview and basically that is i'm right i deserve everything and i'm going to punish a man I'll punish a man for getting some box. That man flew you out. That man put you up. She ain't even American, as many people well know. She's a Chinese citizen, which makes this dude super stupid. I don't know what's going on with Fresh. And here's the thing. A lot of people talking about how they hypocrites and how they preach this and how they do. Listen, man, how a person live their personal life, that's up to that person, good, bad, or indifferent. Does it make the advice that come out of their mouth wrong? No, there's an old saying, eat the meat, spit out the bone. You've almost done them this sort of like, perhaps uh, in accidental But that's okay, benefit. they're not gonna be successful. You know because why? Because she's stupid. They're only going to be attract people that's whose similar behavior as them. But like you and almost those, gave, like those people given, are not going to be successful because she's stupid. Because well, I think they're they're doing pretty well, aren't they? I don't I don't know all the mm. details, but you get but like okay, if they're she goal can't is even like, comprehend what he's as saying. Much attention on our podcast as possible, because mm. the whole narrative of like, hey, fresh, he's this, uh, you know, uh, that whole narrative is gone now that you got the abortion. Mm -hmm. Like the whole thing of like it being an own, like he's going to be on the hook for child support. You're going to like take him, you know, take him to task in the family court system. That's gone. You got the abortion. So he got all the, they got all that attention. So, I mean, just from the argument. She got the abortion. She ain't getting no bag yet. And see, that, that, that's what's going on. She didn't want to have a baby. She didn't want to get pregnant. 
but she don't want to mess up her money train, which is that nice little beautiful body and face that she got going on right there. But she still feel like she is owed a bag. And you know what? I, I, I think I'm going to end it right here because this thing goes on. This is a seven hour podcast, man. I ain't going to lie. I was cleaning and doing my thing today, laundry, whatnot. I put it on, I listened to it, and I couldn't believe half the stuff that was coming out this young lady's mouth, man. I think it's pretty much over for guys, man. It's over. Dudes, it's over, man. It's over. You know, give me a woman that may not be the most stunning thing in the face, and maybe she got a couple pounds on her, man. But if she a good woman, and she ain't got everybody else's children, and she moving right in the world, and got a head on the shoulder, some, you know, I, I see young ladies out here every day, man, working. At very hard jobs. Some of them do hard jobs. Some of these ladies out here at these factories, man, they can't go to their kids' ball games. They can't go to their kids' ceremonies, their kids' recitals, because they working. You know, and like I said, I don't, I don't believe in really dating single moms or anything like that. But if I was going to date one, I'm going to date one that at least taking care of her situation. Instead of these floozies sitting around, gapping their legs open and getting paid for it. It's cold-blooded, man. Nasty work, as I said. Nasty work. So, that's going to be it for your boy, Lord Fader. And that is my perspective. And I'll hit y'all later.